Hey everybody, welcome back to Chained Echoes. So we're here at the bandit camp in... What area is this? Uh, the Cortara Mountains. Uh, we've heard a rumor that an artist drew a sketch of one of the Seraph armors, one of the very first sky armors of divine origin, uh, and could be found in this bandit camp. Now, when we try to approach as a group, we were turned away, but Sienna here is a thief. She may be able to gain entrance. So let's see what happens. What are you doing here? Oh no. Let's try again. Oh, so she has to sneak in, I guess. Maybe down here? Yeah, okay. So she can sneak in, but if we get too close to an NPC, I guess we're gonna get turned away. You know why Peary's always wearing sunglasses? Everyone knows, so he can doze off while working. I bet he's sleeping right now. Okay, there's nothing here. Maybe we can find this Peary character. Is there another path down here? There is, okay. I'm kind of walking in the blind here, trying to figure out where I'm going. All right, so we got past the first guy and into the main entrance. Oh, here's another, here's another guy, okay. So we gotta find, we gotta find paths in the dark, in the secret somehow. That goes up there. We can come out here and come around and up, okay. That is not helpful to us, however, as there's nothing we can do here. So back down we go, looking for another path in the dark, maybe through, hmm. We can get to here, and then what? Oh, I see. That guy turns and looks a different way, briefly. Maybe when he's looking the other way, we can go past him? Yeah, okay, I see. Huh. <laughs> this is tough. Um, so if he's looking right, we can get... Maybe when they're both looking to the right, we can get past them? That seems to have worked. Okay. Door's locked. That guy just keeps looking the same way. So we probably can't get past him. Is there another path or... Huh. That guy with the sunglasses is asleep. We heard about him. Okay. Oh, what happened? Oh. Largry. Doesn't want to come here. Doesn't believe that we own a Seraph armor. I can't remember if I had a voice for this guy or not. We met him a long time ago. Whatever. I'm just, I'm not going to worry about it. He doesn't know what he's missing. We'll find another buyer. It's a shame the armor can't be activated. None of you would have been able to pilot it anyway. Largry, go out and keep searching for potential customers. All right, there's Norgant's key, and we got a reward board reward for finding all the treasure chests. That guy's sleeping. Sneak past them, get in this door. Hmm. So, this is the back entrance. Way to go, Sienna. I never thought I'd be grateful for your thievish skills. Keep your gratitude to yourself. Now... Let's go find that Seraph armor. Okay, party's reunited. Huzzah. Oh my, this is interesting. Okay. Wow, it's chained up and locked to a floating crystal island thing. It, it's still functional. This is awesome. I have to show this to Haku. Huh. This reminds me of a sky armor I saw in Gandabrant's HQ. Looks a bit different, though. <laughs> Caught you guys! How did you manage that? 
Oh, I knew that nowadays you've been flying around with the Crimson Wing, so I made sure the information about the Seraph armor would reach your band. So you lured us here. I told you. I want revenge. You badly wounded my minions. All right, if you think you can take us. <laughs> the thing is, actually more than my desire for revenge, I want to satisfy my greed for gold. You're a clan. Why don't you just buy the armor? You want to sell it to us. We found it, so it's ours. This is a perfectly legal business transaction for once. What do you want for it? 50,000 arc. That's insane. Sienna? That's actually a bargain. I guess they don't know how rare it is. If you say so. We have a deal? Good. Get the money. We'll wait in the camp until then. Where the hell are we going to get 50,000 arc? Oh, we haven't. We have 74. I guess we have enough. Are we just allowed in the camp now? Yeah, we're just allowed in here now. Okay. Uh, hold on. What does Bandit A say? Yesterday, I stole candy from a baby. And you know what? I didn't even eat it. He's just lying to appear tough. Well, we have the money. I guess we just buy the <laughs> buy the seraph. Leave me alone. My hand still hurts. Yeah, we messed these guys up before. Don't think I forgot what you did to us. Did you get the 50,000? Here it is. Very pleased to be doing business with you guys. <laughs> but Norgan, my hand! I demand retribution. Shut up! Buy yourself a prosthetic or something. Come back any time. I'm sure I have more stuff you're interested in. This armor looks similar to Gwaine's. It activated when I got close. It feels as if he left it for me here. He surely thought of the padlock. The seraph armor should be able to undo these chains. I'll free it and then we can return. Okay. Complete the quest two winged angel, done. Okay, so that means we got what? Uh, complete the quest. Find all the treasure chests. Complete the quest for love of food. We finished with uh, Mika, right? Okay. So wait, does that mean we now have... Where is that Seraph armor then? Is that Balthazar? Yeah, that is Balthazar. Okay. Who do we want to give Balthazar to? I mean, Glenn is currently kitted out as a healer in this, and, and uh, it's, uh, strangely enough, it's Victor who's the damage dealer. This reduces his TP to 110 and his agility to 24, but look at the, look at the stats. All right, let's give him Balthazar. And then for you, is there anything that raises your mind higher? No. It's all attack and magic and TP. All right. So it will be, it will be uh, our friend Victor here. Okay, cool. We got a Seraph armor. So uh, if we take a look at the map here, we're kind of done with side quests. We have the main quest to do, but there is one thing that I read about. Uh, I've been I've been sick and tired of not having this got access to this goblin village in the Kochi Berries. So we're gonna go see if we can get this uh, quest to work in Rolling Fields. Uh, come up here. And then we're going to head west as best we can. Okay, from here, we're going to fly over to where there's a waterfall going down into... Yeah. So supposedly here, near here somewhere, there's a... A goblin tied to a tree? There he is. Okay, finally we found him. All right, here's the goblin's request. <laughs> Been waiting the whole game to do this side quest. Bark says, uh, I'm tiny. I've seen a lot in this world, but talking goblins new. A dinner-ready goblin. What scrumptious luck. Leave him, Grandpa. He can talk. You can't eat something like that. What happened to you? 
The people of Basil thought I was a goblin and tied me up here. But you are a goblin. Insolence! Do I look like a goblin? Green skin, bald head? Yeah, you do. Poppycock, so does the guy over there. You call him a goblin too? My name's Bark and I'm human. I'm Timey. Thank you. I'll get uh, the villagers. They claim I could be one of the beasts that, that's been haunting the, 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 the village for months. What's wrong with me? Why is talking so hard, so hard so, 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 suddenly? You're lucky to be alive. They probably felt sorry for you because you can talk. They would have made short work of a regular goblin. Where are you going? To the village and, and, and to talk to the people. Okay, finally, a goblin's dilemma. We found it. We're doing it. Thank you, wikis. This game is too big for me to just... I'm taking too long a playthrough for me to just do everything by myself. All right, uh, let's land here. What do we got? Magic up. Very nice. Bowmaster Purity 5. All of these are fantastic, actually. Uh, I think we got to go with magic up here. Counter crit up. Yeah, none of those are great. Okay, so he's going to the village. Which village would that be? Uh, Basil, I guess? Wait, let's check, uh, let's check our journal here. See what Bark is up to. Well, he went left, so my guess is he's going to Basil here. Let's see if we can find him. All right, Bark, where are you? Hmm. Now where have you gone? Oh, this, yeah, the... This guy was the cheater guy. He, he had the whole scheme set up to rob people of passes. What did he say? It took me 15 years to build this house. They burned it down in two hours. Uh, okay, he's not in here. Although, who are you? You're interesting looking. <laughs> right, the mannequin. Uh, all right, let's see if we can find Bark. He should be somewhere in the village. Hmm. Unless he meant the goblin village? No, no. He was talking about ordinary villagers who tied him up, right? So he wouldn't be... He wouldn't be in the goblin village. He'd be somewhere here, I think. He headed in this direction. Maybe I should have just looked the whole thing up on the wiki. <laughs> We're doing the thing again, where we run around trying to find something. All right. Well, this doesn't uh, this doesn't make any sense. Let me. Oh, wait a minute. There's a there's a marker. Okay, there's a marker on the map. That's what I missed. So he's over here somewhere. Those are quite the large monster tracks. Uh, this is where the monster went on a rampage. As if we didn't have enough problems with the goblins, inhabitants who suddenly disappear in the whole political situation. Bark couldn't possibly have done this. Look at these paw prints. Okay, now we head down there. All right, let's, uh... Let's fly. Let's see, uh, the hut in the east belongs to Jan, a strange fellow. People say he used to be a bandit. Nowadays, he gets a few coins from begging. I feel sorry for his daughter having a father like him. Yeah, we've met Jan before. He, um, he tipped us off about the, the evil guy, the bad guy's, uh, scheme. The, uh, I forget what he was, some sort of official. What do you have to say? Trying to dry some food here. Every time I look away, these crab monsters try and steal a bite. Well, we just killed them for you, lady. Uh, all right, so Bark, or the mid the side quest is over in this direction. What does this say? Uh, here we go. All right, we found him. 
Oh, this is Jan's daughter. Okay. Is everything all right? You look pale, child. It's nothing. Are you sure? I'm a little nervous. A lot of people came and Dad told me to wait outside. Oh? What's going on with your father? I don't know. Something about goblins and huge monsters. Hmm. Look around! And we also saw you moving the bodies away. You guys are out of your minds. I'm already an outsider in Basel, but for you to insinuate that I had something to do with the monster? Ah, it's you guys. These people are completely out of their gourds. They think I'm in cahoots with the monster. Monster that almost killed my daughter, Marcia. Hear me out. Back then, the Tyrrhenian soldiers that had fled the Farnsport banquet had taken my daughter hostage so that I would get them passes for the border. Before I could do anything, the monster had killed them all inside my home and almost killed Marcia as well. Calm down, Jan. You have to understand our point of view. What's going on outside? Marcia! Look! Goblins are attacking! Marcia, get away! Uh, wait! Uh, get, get, Noria! Damn! Was that Bark? Wretched creatures! Are you alright, Marcia? Yeah, the goblins came suddenly. Everything happened fast. They're alive, but they're badly wounded. Or they're alive, but they're badly wounded. Can't anything be done against these pests? They're devastating our village, and they must be responsible for the disappearance of some of the villagers as well. I'm sure of it. We could talk to the goblin elder again, but the last time was already quite futile. Another goblin who can speak. How surprising. I'm not going to that village again. You're a clan, aren't you? Can't you act as diplomats in this conflict? Well, I think that also falls under our purview as a clan. I'm all for it. Let's help them, Glenn. Wonderful. You'll reach their village through the Ograin Grottoes. I, I was told if you wear this emblem, they'll let you enter. Take it. And Jan, take care of your daughter. She only has you. Let's get going. All right. Ugh. I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but uh, let's find out. So we'll go down to Ograin and we'll travel up to the village. And for, finally, we should be able to enter. Yeah, I see you, Red Chest. I've been eyeing you for 20 hours of gameplay. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, trash. 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 Okay, uh, what else we got going on here? We're finally gonna be allowed in! Rope Lavor! Gold Dasim! Alright, well, we don't speak goblins, so we can't understand them or talk to them, really. Gold Top Plenor! Gold Anouk! That has to be, I mean, there has to be a secret passage somewhere, right, that that, let, that lets out right there? That's the only way that makes any sense. Can't understand these guys at all. What is this? There's a glass with some kind of liquid. Drink it? Yeah, maybe this is going to let us talk to them. It tasted strange. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a, I thought it was gonna be a, uh, a language buff. Yeah, I still can't talk to these guys. Tasty humans! We understood that. I love this music. <laughs> it's great. These goblins are disgusting. I find them quite cute. They look like little green grandfathers. Hello? Yes! Finally! Buy them all. 20 should be enough, I think. 
What else is he selling here? Key oh, key items. The human language. A, te a book for teaching goblins the human language can also be used the other way around. Allows communicating with the goblins. And Bye Bye X. Destroys otherwise indestructible weed in Perpetua. All right, we'll buy both of these. Bye bye X. <laughs> We're really low on funds now after spending 50,000 on the Seraph. Let's see if we have any loot we can sell. Get a little bit back. Check our deals. Yeah, nothing. Okay, so we should now be able to, using that book, we should be able to understand these guys. Yeah, there we go. You filthy pack of unwashed apes. Good thing you don't understand me. What do we got going up here? My husband went up to the surface and didn't return. I'm worried some filthy humans got him. Oh, probably. All right, now that we can understand these folks, let's take another tour around here. I lost the key, damn it. When and where? I don't remember. Was it the Western Mushroom Fields over there? I should take a look. But first, I gotta keep an eye on these strangers. Okay, there's a key in the Western Mushroom Fields, I guess? <laughs> this area is ridiculous. Here we go. Secret path, baby. I knew it. I knew there had to be one. Magic planes? What do those do? Magical skills can crit. Critical mage. Interesting. Okay. Should we go look for this key in the western mushroom fields? What does he mean by the western mushroom fields, by the way? Like a whole... Like a whole area over here somewhere? Or... Hmm, not sure. Oh, God! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I pissed in the bottle over there. I hope they drink it. We did. We did! Oh, God. They probably think this is a suit made of humans. Ah, foolish humans. We goblins are actually vegetarians. We wouldn't touch any stinky animal or human meat. Let's scare them. Tasty humans! Yeah. <laughs> I'm the best at the human language. Okay. There are no males or females. There are only goblins. And this one says, This is Goblin Village. All right, so what's what would be the... Oh, there's the Western Mushroom Fields. Okay, so there's the key we're looking for. What does that open, I wonder? Miner's Key. Oh, this is to... This is in Rock Bottom, I think. We were looking for a key to a uh, to the lift in Rock Bottom, right? Allows one to enter the lower levels of the Wygrin Mines. Very nice. Okay, so we got more we can do there. Maybe that's like an endgame dungeon or something? All right, here's the Goblin Chief. Humans, huh? What are you doing here? Why are your heads still on your bodies? We're here on behalf of the village of Basil. You followed us? I didn't come to rest. Village Elder, please stop the attacks on our village. <laughs> Idiots. Why should we spare you humans? You make short work of us, too. You slaughter every goblin you see without remorse. It's even on your sword. I smell it. Goblin blood. There must be some way to make a deal. We... No, get out. If you're not out this second, I'll send the whole village on you. That's the only promise I'll make. Damn, this conflict just can't find a peaceful solution. Ah! No, no, fear of Uh, Bark, it's you? Can't you talk anymore? Oh, Trang, fair! He looks very upset. Dan, danger! Your daughter! What? Da danger, my daughter? Ah! Marsha! After him. Uh, <laughs> okay. So is it all the way back to his house? Or, or, or did, no, his kid wouldn't be here in Ogreen Grottos, right? Yeah, it must be back in Rock Bottom. All right, let's, uh, let's fast travel. He lived down in this area, right? Wait, was it Rock Bottom or No, it was it was uh 
It was down here, yeah? Yeah. I can see the map marker. Here we go. All right. Let's see what let's see what's happening. No, Marsha. Oh god, no. Yeah. They don't even shy away from children. Look out. Uh ring the goblin down. Yeah, we don't know exactly what's going on here. I have a feeling this is one of those I, like the way this author, the way the the developer writes writes these side quests, it's all like moralism in the end. There's a lesson to be learned, right? So there's something about racism going on here. We'll keep him alive for now. It it was just her clothes. Does this mean that she's still alive? Where is she? You know what? I get it. Marsh is a werewolf or something. She's the. Uh, She's the beast that's been attacking the village, right? That makes sense. All right, Goblin Chief. Ha ha ha, such drama. Give us that goblin. They belong to us. Why should we? Where's my daughter? What have you done with her? Uh, uh, daughter. Danger. No. Uh, dangerous. Daughter dangerous. My daughter is dangerous? Clark is right. Your daughter's too dangerous for you. Look, she's right in front of you, and she wants to kill you. What? Stupid humans. Yes, we made the villagers disappear, but we don't just kidnap them. We turn them into goblins. That girl also became one of us. That's why Bark and the others tried to get her earlier. This can't be. Wasn't there a noticeable number of injured people close to her? The Tyrrhenian soldiers, the villagers. Well, the transformation takes a few weeks. People change back and forth. During the transition, it sometimes happened that they get overpowers. <laughs> These are the beasts that ravage your village. It's the humans who become goblins. <laughs> I read about this transmutation, but assume goblins are capable of such magic. That's right. You think goblins are stupid. You look down on us. That's the problem. That's why there will never be peace. Now give us the goblin. She's one of us. Never. If it has to be, then by force. Okay, so... Here we go. Uh, big ass goblin battle. Uh, what are we gonna do here? Uh, all right, we'll use our new all break skill on the knight. Followed by a paralyze. I don't know why Len's in front instead of uh, instead of Victor, but I guess that's fine. Uh, let's see, what are they weak to? They're weak to Earth. Yeah, we're gonna swap her. Oh no, that's Eggle. She's got. Somehow this got all messed up. Um, let's coat everyone with fire, I guess. Okay, uh, let's get some bleeding going on one of these wizards. And we'll focus on the soldiers. Uh... Three turns of paralyze, it's very nice. It's all break. And then Sienna should be able to one shot him here. I don't know how my formation got all messed up. 2134. Sick. Uh, oh, this, yeah, this Heaven's Tear. Magical attack with the element the target is weakest against. Deals 1.7x damage to one. This was one of the skills that was uh, hidden by the scroll that I missed. Let's see, so this should do earth damage, right? Yeah, very nice. Okay, that's a really good skill. Let's see, what do we have? Silence, Paralyze, Herbal Medicine, Charging. I guess we could charge. Looks like, yeah, my skills and my formation are all messed up. We'll just have to kind of like handle that a little bit later. Who's paralyzed? Nobody? 
Okay, well, let's just yoga gear here. Okay, there we go. Ah, you win for now, but we will return. We'll seek out your god, and with his blessing, you'll stand no chance. Come, Bark, to our sanctuary in the Wygrin Mines. Marcia, oh, Marcia. A tragedy indeed. So, all these goblins were once humans, huh? You can't tell anyone about this, or they'll make short work of Marcia. I'll hide with her. She won't hurt anyone. But what for? She can't even seem to take her human form anymore. I'll find a way. Somehow. I'll be able to turn her back. Please. Promise me not to tell anyone about this. At least until a cure is found. We'll wait. At least a few days. Maybe her condition will change. But we won't wait any longer than that. The villagers need to know that with every dead goblin, they bury a human. We almost killed your daughter ourselves. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's a cave behind my house. That's where I'll hide. Marcia will become a human again. I know it. Hopeless, if you ask me. Luckily, no one asked you. Don't say that. I wish she'd come back too, but how is that going to happen? Well, we may never find out. Maybe. Or maybe we go straight to the Wygrin Mines and go investigate. So, the good news is, with our entry into the Goblin Village, we picked up 20 of those, uh, those fruits. I wonder if we can actually go back since we pissed them off. Maybe I should have bought more than 20. He said he had a cave back behind his house? Well, it's not available right now. Unless... Hmm. Was this? What's the point of this? Why would this even be here? We also got a way to to bust through some some kind of uh, weed in Perpetua. There, so there was some area there that we didn't have access to, I guess. Let's see, where is this taking us? Is this where he was talking about the cave back behind his house, or...? <laughs> no, all right. Well, let's, uh, let's at least fix the formation. Uh, we want Glenn up here, then Victor, then Bethraz, and then Sienna. And then we want Tomkey trading in for... Do we want Tomkey? Are we really ever going to use him? We could have someone else. Uh, Victor should be traded with Rob. And Bethraz with Len. No, damn it, that was a mistake. Um, Sienna trades off with Amalia. And then, do, who do I want in this slot behind Glenn? I don't really want Eggle or Tomkey. So we have Raphael, Mika, Magnolia. I don't really know. Who's got who's got the best attack stat? 113, 101, 84. Who's in there now? Uh... Eggle. I guess we'll put I guess we'll put Raphael. I think that's better than Tomkey. If we have to swap somebody in, it should be him. And then in terms of skills. Yeah, I need I need a bunch more points because there's a whole bunch of stuff down here that I missed. I did what I could in terms of spending points and stuff. And uh, this guy's got, you know, a basic loadout. I haven't really looked at him too closely. So I guess off camera I'll go take a look at that. Meanwhile, we need to get to Portara Mountain Range and head down to, in, yeah, head to Rock Bottom. And now we have the key to the elevator shaft. So now we can finally get down here. If 
we head up here. And we've got the bye bye, the bye bye X thing. Uh, let's see, Agi up, that seems pretty good. Don't care about any of those. HP up too. Only purity one, but it's size one. I like that. Um, light attack could be good for someone like the Thraws. But HP up is probably better. What do we got here? Uh, grab some of those. I'm just going to grab all the size one gems basically moving forward. All right, here's what we were looking for. Activated the elevator with the miner's key. And that takes us to a brand new area here. Or, well, we have a map, so maybe we've been here? Have we been here? I'm not entirely sure. Let's see if we can find... Oh, that's new. Let's see what this is. Wow, okay. This is a Roagrim. We can steal from it, and it's weak to dark. All right, let's try stealing. Let's see. Oh, he's weak. Oh, he's a he's a, a little pussy cat. Okay. I don't recall seeing them before though. All right. Well, let's check this area out. Let's see what we can find here. There's a huge moving platform. Oh, we were here. That's right. This was way earlier in the game. We moved, uh, we had to fight while, like, moving along the tracks. Here's Goblin. Okay. What are you doing here? Didn't I lock the door? We're on our pilgrimage to the sanctuary. Leave now. I don't think so, buddy. Okay. Well, this is definitely a new area. The door was locked. Uh, we got a couple folks here. Um... I don't think we even really need all break, but let's go for it. Damn, she's so strong. See what else we're dealing with here. More of these guys. It's blocked off. Let's see what this one has to say. Don't you dare disturb our pilgrimage. Yeah, well, you're at war with a village. We don't have a choice here. Two ways to go and a fight on our hands. All right. Uh... Oh, that was a, I, that was a miss. That was a misplay. Should have done that. Uh... They're buffed up, but they don't really have much to offer. So we got two paths here. Let's check down here first because it seems like a dead end. Here's another goblin. We goblins do not age. Some of us have lived for a hundred years, but I've heard that goblins in the other parts of the world have short lives. Does that mean we're special? Maybe. Humans? Y you don't plan to destroy the totem, do you? I kept telling the chief to keep the attacks on humans down. I explained to him we were drawing too much attention to ourselves over and over again. For centuries we've gone unnoticed, but now you've come. Yeah, he, he had a lot to say. What is this? There's a note. Things are getting serious. I hear more and more goblins approaching. Their drums and laughter echo through the caves. I don't have much time, so I'll be brief. My name is Joan Flavenberg, and I'm a journalist. I'm investigating the strange happenings in Nysa. This totem, which the goblins worship like a sanctuary, is directly connected to the university. The scholars of Nysa, for some reason, collect vast amounts of ether and will stop at nothing to do so. 
They know very well that a living produ uh, being produces the most ether. Of course, they can't just execute people. Instead, they've built this totem that has a magical effect on people in a radius of several kilometers. It transforms them. The text ends here, the page is full of blood. That does sound interesting. Remember, the Grand Grimoire that we supposedly want to use to fight the Vayan, if we ever get it back from Fedric, uh, fills itself up on ether to become more powerful. So if there's a totem that the ancient Nysen mages made that generates ether that we can use instead of killing people, that might be huge. All right, what do we got here? Uh, trash. Agiup's decent. And more trash. Uh, we got a darkness tablet. What is that? Man, there's just a lot of stuff going on right now. Darkness tablet. An old tablet with a strange symbol on it. Alright, not much to go on there. Don't touch the totem! If it's destroyed, then... Then what? Oh, we gotta hop across. Okay. Sorry, buddy. We're doing this. Do you want to set the totem on fire? Yep. <laughs> What's happened? Where am I? Why am I in this cave? I can't remember anything. I feel weird. My, my hands look so old. Yesterday, I celebrated my 11th birthday with my family in Basel, and now... Looks like we broke the curse. So it was this totem that held the spell over them. Why did some transform back and some turn to dust? I'd guess that they turned to their human form, but aged accordingly. Some goblins must have been over a hundred years old. Turning back meant their death. How cruel. I hope this was the right decision. Now let's help these people return to their families. I guess we're back on Hermit Isle. Uh, I guess the last thing we should do is go check in with, um... Go check in with Jan. So he lived down by the beach, right? Yeah, he lived here. Did his daughter turn back? Oh, we can't go in there. Huh. So he did mention that he was going to hang out in a cave, but it seems like we can't uh, can't visit him or find out. Maybe there's another side quest involving him somewhere down the line. Let me just double check here. Yeah. There's no markers on the map. Um, the only other thing we have to do, uh, and if I check our journal... End of an era. Yeah, okay. So the other thing we can do is look for, uh, go to Perpetua and look for that weed that they were talking about. Let's start here. Where would, where would the, the weed be? Leviathan's Trench, Fjord Woods. I mean, we've been all around here, right? Maybe it would be in the upper left? Something about an unblo unbreakable weed. Uh, let me just double check the item here. Bye bye X destroys otherwise indestructible weed in Perpetua. Maybe it's the yellow things. Maybe there was some blockage that we wanted to get past. Well, you know what? Hold on. Let's do it this way. We can look in the bottom left and see there's zero, uh, zero treasure chests here. Zero treasure chests here. There's one treasure chest here somewhere. So maybe we look around and see if we can find that. If it's hidden behind something we can get through with this weed killer, maybe that's maybe that's what we're looking for. Here. Let's go down. 
Can we even see where it is on the map, or is it hidden, hidden somewhere? It's there. Huh. That's not it. Hmm, so we can't interact with that. Wait, how would we even... We can hover over here. Oh, we can just get that. All right. That was a that was a mechanical thing. All right, let's look for another treasure chest that we don't have. Maybe over on the right side of the map. Zero here. All right, so we'll go up. Nothing here. We can't go there. It might it might be in there. Uh, we should check the left and the top middle. There's one okay, there's one treasure chest here. Let's see if we can find that one. How close are we to the bottom here? Weed that we can't get get past. And there doesn't seem to be. I can't. Uh, I can't quite see it right now. The here. Okay, that one I think we can get just by landing. Okay, some passive ram. What is that? Passive ram, passive ram. Uh, counter TP, reg and counter attack up, counter attack. Okay, so it's a big, like, sit back and then attack after you, after you get hit. It's a counter, it's a counter ram. So, let's see, the top areas here we have some trouble with. Let's go ahead and head in here. Is there a treasure chest here that we don't have? There's four. Ah, here it is, the impassable weed. Okay. You pour some bye-bye X on the tendrils. Okay, we found it. So, guys, I'm going to take a break here. When I come back, uh, we will head north and explore more of this area. And then after that, I mean, I don't... Uh, I guess we go back to Herman Isle and ask about more recruits. And eventually, we're going to run out of stuff to do. Obviously, we could go, like, spend uh, a bunch of time in the reward board. I guess we could go down to Ograin. There's actually quite a lot we could do in Ograin, right? Because, um... Now that we have those berries, we can get past the tad eyes. So we'll probably, that's probably what we'll do. We'll start here in uh, Perpetua. Then we'll go to Ograin and explore there. I guess at some point we could check in with Madeline and see if she's found her way into Nysa. But I, I, I think I have a feeling that that's going to come later as part of the story. So I don't think that's going to happen. But anyway, that's going to be it for this time. Thank you so much for watching and for being part of my community and giving me comments and messages. I love all that stuff. Really appreciate it. And I uh, hope you're enjoying everything. We're, we're circling the drain here with this game, but man, it has been a long ride. It is, this is one of the longest series I've ever done. Uh, anyway, hope you guys are looking forward to more, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, take care.